These are actually pretty good. I'm not a huge kettle corn guy. Are these yours? They were. But now <laughs> Robbie's gonna, taking them. They're not gonna be anymore. This thing's yeah. going. Pe people always wonder. People just wonder. Yeah, people think we're high. <laughs> we do these videos. I don't, I don't understand why they I'm would think on, that. I'm high on life. Yeah. It's so weird. But these are, I didn't eat lunch yet, so I'm probably gonna eat all of these. Yeah. But the truth, the reality is that we say no to drugs. So we pass. Yeah. Pass on all the grass. <laughs> Passes the grass. My name is Thomas and I'm with Believe in the Run. And this is Robbie with Believe in the Run. And today we are talking about, I can't even say the name of this shoe, there's just too many words. I think I can do it. Right. The Under Armour Flow Velocity Wind. Baltimore boys. Nice job. Yeah, girls. There's so, a lot of, there's too many four letter words. You got flow, warpage. Wind. Wind. Water, fire, All earth. around velocity spelled incorrectly. All the Captain Planet stuff. Yeah, it's cool. What's like, what can we call this as like a short name for? The velocity? Let's just call it the velocity. The velocity wind? Flow velocity wind. What's like the shorter name? Velocity wind? This shoe. All right, this shoe. Yeah. So this shoe Wait is- Wait a second though, we can't just skip right into that. I mean, Under Armour. Their shoe history, why don't you go into it? Do we have to? Right now is when, I'm gonna tell you something. Is anybody asking for an Under Armour shoe history? Anytime they start having a decent shoe, they destroy it and a new crew comes in and they do something completely different. They get a good shoe in and then they destroy it. And I go. <laughs> oh! I killed it! I killed my sail! <laughs> this is what Under Armour does to their shoes. They get a decent shoe, and they rip it all up. Yep, and but they're back with another decent shoe. Now we're back on the upside, <laughs> yeah. another decent shoe. But before we get into it too much about the performance, let's kind of talk about what the shoe is. Yeah. It's essentially a lightweight daily trainer. It can work as a tempo shoe, but it comes in at, actually, I was gonna give the weight for it right now, but we don't have the scale here. The scale's upstairs. I'll go get the scale. Before he gets back. Sneaking snacks. All right, so it's a lightweight daily trainer that weighs what, Robbie? All right, well, let's put your men's 11 on here since that's more normal. It's 262 grams. 9.24 ounces. Again, this isn't my normal size, this is size 11. Yeah, <laughs> I had a chicky pop <laughs> stuck in my throat there. That's what happens when you eat a whole bag of corn. All right, for real. All right. Normally I wear size 10 and a half. I didn't ask for a bigger size. They sent me a bigger size. But it was actually like maybe too small for you? Yeah, the weird thing is this fit right for like a 10 and a half, except for on the lateral edge, I got a little rubbing against the toe. So Robbie, okay. why don't you tell them what it's about? Yeah, so we have this warp knit upper, which kind of looks like a bunch of laser beams shooting out. I like it, Thomas doesn't like it. He says laser beams, I say it looks like a golf sweater, an Argyle, Argyle sweater. Okay, I could get that. Uh, it's kind of like a TPU mesh, very lightweight, see-through. Not very soft. It's not, it's a little rigid, but it is, it does form to the foot nicely. Some TPU is a little too rigid. I felt like this was a nice upper, which I never thought Under Armour had a problem with. They always make their uppers good. were usually pretty good. Yes. Uh, I, you know what I really like about this shoe? I like the tongue. It's gusseted. It's gusseted. It has this like airy, see-through mesh in the like bottom portion of it, mm -hmm. and then up towards the where you need the protection. Exactly. It's and got a little padding. Got a little nice little pillow here. I yeah. love those pillow tongues. And the cushioning continues through the heel collar and counter. Honestly, Something. the upper does fit pretty well. Mine, as I said, even at a size, half size up, I was getting some rubbing along this lateral edge or outside edge against my toes. I feel like maybe I just got a weird one from the batch because both Megan and Robbie said the shoe felt and fit fine at the regular size. Yeah, I really liked it and had no issues. I, I could see how you might have some rubbing though because it, it's a pretty thin, like streamlined narrow yeah. shoe, so. Yeah, yeah this is not gonna be for the wide boys. Absolutely not. But anyways, let's get on to the midsole, which is 
just the rest of the shoe, basically. Yeah, from uh, from there on down, it's midsole. Yeah, so it's there. It doesn't have, I mean, it's got a very thin removable sock liner. I guess you could kind of customize a little bit there. And there's a Bluetooth chip in there somewhere. I've gotten stopped by TSA because of the Bluetooth chip. It's ridiculous. Yeah, because of the Bluetooth chip. As if the airport experience couldn't get any worse. Look at this guy's face. He's getting stopped for blue chips. I said Bluetooth chip, didn't I? Did I say Bluetooth? We have the the Flow midsole, which is, it's their new cushioning, their new midsole material. It's EVA. Yeah, it's EVA. So it's like. So it's just their proprietary makes it EVA. It's not bad. It's pretty good. I think when we first like put the shoes on or first step in, we thought, thought it was going to be firm. super firm. But it turns out that it's nice, responsive on the run, just yeah. like that. To me, it was a perfect amount of cushioning. Yeah, when you get running, you can kind of feel the, the sink in when you land, but it's still firm enough you don't feel dead. It goes through the stride really well. I found that overall, the cushioning was at a really nice place. Like normally, a shoe line has a couple different shoes to choose from so you can dial in what you want. This one's definitely going to be more for the person that likes, say, like your Beacon, New Balance Beacon. I feel like the Brooks Hyperion Tempo even. Really? I would think that more like a launch or something. Uh, no, nah, the launch, actually, I feel like the launch is way firmer than this new version of okay. it anyways. But I, I could see that, like the good version of the launch, maybe yeah. a little bit similar. So we like the way the cushioning worked. Again, Megan, who likes really thick cushioning, still liked this shoe. Um, although it probably did have a little too much ground feel for her. Yeah, she's a more high stack, more cushion type of person. Yeah, give her so. a clift and make the girl happy. But I really like this. I took it up to like a nine mile run with Aldrin and I thought it was really, really nice the whole time. The one thing I don't like about the shoe is this rounded like geometry. Oh, really? Uh, so I, I have like the weakest ankles of pretty much anyone out there. Wankles. You, do I not sprain my ankle like once every two months? I used to be that guy. Like I, I do. And so I could feel it like this rounded edge. Really? Like sometimes it would start to give a little bit. It was freaking me out. I felt like this was pretty stable. That's weird that you say that. So there's no rubber on the bottom. It's just rubberized TPU, which means when you get down here, they add in some rubber to give it a little extra durability. The ground contact feels really nice, very smooth on shoes like this. You can think of shoes like a Treyu. Uh, even the Beacon is pretty much just this type of bottom. The grip on this though is pretty exceptional. I think that the design that they've done here kind of grips and does a nice job getting you through with traction. And then they have this like split heel thing that everybody's doing, although it serves no purpose whatsoever in this shoe. I mean, I like the way they look. Yeah, it looks cool. Yeah, it's and, cool. Uh, hey, it saves a little bit of weight, why not? Uh, that it even saves that much weight. It's, anyway. Well, it'd be, it's not adding more weight, so it's, it does save a little bit of weight. It's like a dent That's in your car is not lighter because it's got a dent. It's the, just got a no, dent. The, okay. <laughs> <laughs> now this shoe, I would say, is a welcome addition back into the running family for Under Armour. Bring it in. But there's a problem. 160 bones. That's what I was thinking. $160 is crazy for this shoe. Yeah, we're comparing it to shoes like the Kimbara, the Beacon, even, uh, uh, the, well, the Tempo gets a little more expensive dude, from Brooks, but- Hokamok 4, 130 bucks. This is a really good Under Armour shoe. It's a very average running shoe. Yeah. You're gonna give it an above average running shoe? I'd say a little bit above average, but I, it cannot, I can't justify $160 for it. And let it be known, we hardly ever mention or Prices. the price and yeah. if we're, like if we think it's too much because normally I feel like they're right in the right area. Yeah, exactly. But this I feel like is just this should be at 120 bucks for me. Yeah, definitely. Would you consider the Rebel V2? Is that a similar like? Yeah, the Rebel V2 is and a tempo shoe. And that's what 130 bucks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know you got to make up for all the shoes you're not selling over at Under Armour, but 160 dollars for this shoe is. I hate to say it because I do like the shoe, but I just it would be hard for me to spend that. Overall, though, I do have to say I really like the shoe. Pleasantly surprised by Megan it. Megan liked it too. Very much looking forward to seeing what Under Armour's coming out with in the future. And um, yeah, of course we're rooting for them because we're from Baltimore. They're from Baltimore. Yeah. So. And to be honest, I have stock in the company. Yeah, I sold mine <laughs> for a loss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and maybe I need a tax right now. That's it. The. Velocity, no, the flow, velocity, wind, 
with Bluetooth technology from Under Armour. Say hi to your mom. Yeah. So that was the review for the Under Armour Flow Velocity Wind. And now here's this part where you hear us say stuff like, uh, subscribe to us here, like the video if you liked it. And make sure you follow us on all our social channels, Instagram, Facebook, Strava. Listen to our podcast, The Drop. We have some awesome guests on Emily Sisson. And Clayton Young, Very both won first place winners of the Gate River Run 15K National Championships. Very stoked for that, so check that out. And stay tuned for more videos. Yeah. Give them a flex, Robbie. Uh, is that like... like haven't done that in a while because there's nothing there. Yeah, that's it. There you go. All right. <laughs> and that's a wrap. <laughs>